the Joe Rogan experience. So I'll tell you this, uh, and I, so Whole Foods Market is continues to be my biggest customer. They, they used to be my virtually my only customer. But my relationship with Whole Foods has been cooling for a decade, and eventually I won't be in there anymore. Uh, I, I, I will, will, Harris, me, sold Whole Foods Market the first pound of American grass-fed beef that they marketed as American grass-fed beef 20 years ago. And it, well, at the time it was so lucky, and it just uh, uh, it caught traction, and, and, and they, they wanted to buy all I sold. And, 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 but today it's a very different Whole Foods, uh, and you know, we, we won't be there long. What's the issue? You know what greenwashing is? Greenwashing. Yeah. No. Sort Green, of. But. Greenwashing is big food advertising using words to make consumers believe that the food they're selling is the same as what I'm producing, even though it's not. Hey, is that, have you got that, uh, a global animal partnership whole foods video where you can show it to show please so greenwashing greenwashing uh, okay so what's this meat rating system about let me put it this way step one is like <clears throat> step five is like <clears throat> so step five let's get a new york strip and definitely a fillet and do you have what the hell does that mean? I can't tell you how much that angers me. <laughs> tell me what that, that means. That makes me so goddamn. Is mad. that their? That's their question. I mean, that is their video that they made. Yeah, that was their. Hour so time this no. <laughs> let me let me let me see. So, how, so it, come it, on, it, it makes you laugh. It, it makes, makes me mad. I'm sure it does, sir. But as me as a as a consumer looking at that, like what? Come on, man. The, the uh, you're supposed to be Whole Foods. Whole Foods to me is supposed to be a place where I can go and get healthy food. That's like the the idea behind it. Whole Foods started by hippies. Started here in Austin. Great Whole Foods. I want Whole Foods. Let me go there. But what is and this is what does that mean? Right, so you this, have so many things you could tell me in a short uh, period of time. Healthier, better for the environment. You know, low carbon footprint. It's all those things they could tell me. Instead, they go and that's their commercial. All right. So this this is about greenwashing. You know, okay. And Whole Foods and Whole Foods. And Global Animal Partnership are, are, are big on greenwashing. Okay. What but, is step five and step four? What is all that? Right, that right, so, uh, uh, so let's, let's talk about the Global Animal Partnership. Okay. The Global Animal Partnership is an animal welfare nonprofit that Whole Foods financed, I don't know, 15 years ago or something. I don't know how long ago. And I went to the first meeting, producer meeting they ever had in Denver, of the Whole Foods had for the Global Animal Partnership, rolling it out. And uh, and it was all about this, uh, I, th- I thought, I, and by the way, I thought it was a great idea at the time. This uh, animal welfare system, so that step one, th- which is low hanging fruit, a little bit better than industrial, two, three, four, five, and five was great animal welfare uh, no uh, physical alterations, can't castrate, whatnot. We used to castrate everything born on my farm that wasn't named Harris, and we <laughs> and you know, we we quit castrating. You know all the things we had to do to achieve step five. And it was explained to us at the time that uh, you know we want to bring the industry into higher animal welfare, which was right up my alley. I did too. And we've got to have this step one, two, which is low-hanging fruit that pretty much anybody, it's like getting your foot in the door. But all companies are expected to move up the continuum to the, to everybody step four or five. Okay. I thought it was great. Sounds great. I, I, yeah. So I embraced it and, uh, and became a step five plus. I don't think they have just a very few in the country. We want them. And they never would pay us any more for our product. It, it, you know, just, it just, but as a result, in the case, in the meat case, 
everything was step one, step two, maybe a little step three. And they did allow producers, mostly big multinational corporations, to come in at step one and two and languish there. You know, 15 years later, it's still step one, step two, which is not the way it was supposed to work. So now, instead of, even though there's five steps, they talk about how it's all great. And it's not all great. You know, if you're going to do it with your hands and mouth like that guy, you know, so step one's like, pff, step five is like, pff, you know, not, <laughs> it just pisses me off. I would imagine. Uh, but you go to Whole Foods you know, and look and, and ask them, how much, okay, step five, how much step four and five you got back there? And probably not much. So most of it, here it goes. Jamie's got it here. Step one, no cages, no crates, no crowding. Step two, engri- enriched environment, things to do. Step three, enhanced outdoor access. Step four, pasture centered based on an outdoor system. Step five, animal centered, no physical alterations. That means castration. And, all yep. that. and then step five plus, which is you, animal centered, entire life on the same farm. As shoppers can know exactly what the animal was raised for, the meat they are buying just by looking for the what does it say? For the color coded step uh, rating on the pro- uh, product label as of October first, two thousand fourteen. The Step Five program co- includes two thousand five hundred two thousand four hundred fifty one farms and ranches that range from Step One to Step Five Plus, and raise more than one hundred and forty seven million animals annually. But they added everything together there. Oh yeah. Step I, Five and program. Look how they did that. Step Five and program includes two thousand four hundred fifty one pro- farms and ranches that range from Step One to Step Five Plus. So by saying that and includes these 2,451 farms, they're not saying how many of them are actually step five. They're like kind of fucking with you with the numbers there. And I can tell you, it's not many. It's not 2,451. Well, but that's step great, one to step five. One and two. I'm not saying there yeah. weren't that many farms. I'm right. saying it's not it's, uh, that the not dist- that many step five. The distribution would be greatly skewed. To the right. Step so if one. you go to a Whole Foods and say, "Hey, um, so I want, I want that," <laughs> yeah. how many you got? It's less, yeah. far less. So they well, have to get very specific meat from places like you. Well, I mean, I think the reason they they had that particular segment there. Is because they didn't have much step five back there, mm. so that that allowed them to say, "Hey, man, it's all good." Right, it's all good. It's all, it's good. all better than anywhere else you're going to get, yeah. and that's greenwashing. That's greenwashing. That makes it sense. It devalues what the step five plus does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of a it's a moronic way of well, describing it's di- it. It's, it's a different a- Whole Foods than the one I started with. Is it because years. it's corporate now, and it's because it's owned by big companies and it's all about when you're involved in a gigantic corporation like that. It's about maximizing profits, ultimately. Yeah. Everything you said is right. Uh, the way I would state it is that uh, industrialized farming and big food distribution co-evolved together. You know, prior to the end of World War II, there was no industrial farming, and there were really no great big food companies, r- r- retail companies, you know, the, the local Piggly Wiggly or whatnot, but mm-hmm. there weren't. And those those all co-evolved, big ag, big food, and industrial farming co-evolved together to what it is now. And, you know, the, the guys that are managing the meat department's Whole Foods really w- need to pick up the phone and say, Send me 48,000 pounds, a truckload of 48,000 pounds of six-ounce fillets to the following five distribution centers every week for the next month. Thank you. Well, the Will Harris's of the world won't ever see 48,000 pounds of six-ounce ribeyes, oh, fillets. The only people that can do that are... Tyson, Cargill, JBS, Smithfield. So that's that co-evolution. So the only way this is going to work to do it your way is if someone's deeply committed to change. 
Yeah, let me say this. I, I also sell to uh, uh, a grocery chain called Market District, one called Moms, one called Publix, one called Kroger. And I don't feel as used as window dressing by those stores. So you feel that like your way of doing it is, is, is almost like it's a trick. They're trying to pretend that most of their meat is gotten from people like you. That's 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 my perception. What you just saw. Well, yeah. It seems like that was the perception that I got from yeah. it too, based on the way they use that giant number yeah. and said it's anywhere from step one to yeah. step five plus. Right. They kind of lumped everybody in together. You know, I, I've sold. I actually sold Publix supermarket prior to selling Whole Foods. I sold them before I did Whole Foods, and they Publix. I'm not. This is not an advertisement. They have ordered consistently from me every single week for 20 years. They put it out there. People buy it or not. There's no bullshit. There's no uh, smoke and mirrors and you know. It's just just no greenwashing. No greenwashing. It's just right. just honestly buy it or not. And. You know, again, Whole Foods is still my biggest customer. I'm probably this problem will get me thrown out if it does. Think so? Huh? Do you think they will? I don't know. I don't. You just don't seem to care, though. Well, I ain't much in the ass kissing business. I like it. <laughs> uh, they, uh, they, they do what they want to do. I mean, I, it, you know, I, I, we'll have to work a little hard and sell a little more online. You know, but uh, but you'd prefer that. The, to bullshit. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, I uh, you know, I, uh, there was a time that, well, it's not good, but it's, but yeah, it, uh, it's, 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 it's just, that's, that's a very different company. 